But we're here right now and we're gonna catch this fucking vibe and answer these QA's. Hey, who gonna stop me? Who gonna stop me now? It's getting rocky. I see waves of y'all around in a tsunami. Bet I make it out. What's up? It's me, Trino. And my name's Adam. And welcome. Today we're gonna do the QA. &A. Alright, this is like part what three? Part three. Damn, okay, so I wanna do part three because I love how you guys came through for part one and part two, man. And it was fun, man. It was fun. You already know, man. I'm a fucking open. Above, like on Friday night when I open my legs. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, you already know, man. We like to catch the vibe and like to keep it with you guys. And I love how you guys comment below. We like to have a conversation, man. So, and um, yeah, so you guys came through, man. You guys um, came through on Instagram. You guys posted on, on this post right here. You guys asked, you know, you guys came with the questions, man. I really do appreciate that. And also, you guys direct, direct message me some questions. So, I don't know how we should do it. Should we put the pictures? Pictures of them? Yeah, we're gonna put the We're putting your pictures. So, if, <laughs> but next time, if we do a Q and A or we're doing something like that, just let us know if you don't want us to put your picture. We can just literally put the questions, so you can get really, really raunchy, and nobody will know you answer that um, ask that question. You know what I'm saying? So, it will be between you and I. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. So, you know, we've been trying to do the Q and A, but um, our job situation right now is a little bit chaotic. Adam has just picked. You know, he got on a new job. So I'm in the process of getting another job. Our scheduling is different. We're missing each other. Like car situation of like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot. So we apologize if we say we're gonna post the Q and A a certain time, but we're posting it and we're gonna catch this vibe because yeah. you already know, you know. So, but we're here right now and we're gonna catch this fucking vibe and answer these Q and A's. All right, so um, let's just go and get into it, man. And I don't know none of these questions. So. Yeah, because I'm the one that, you know, grab them and I cut them up and shit. So this first one right here, this is right here, and it says, can we have a threesome and have some taco soup? <laughs> first of all, a guy or girl? I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's Candy Girl 213. Oh, Candy Girl 213. Underscore Girl 213. Girl, we can have a threesome anytime. And then in the, in this, in the same time we're having a threesome, we can eat tacos. For sure. <laughs> we could or it could be a foursome. You could just bring your man too. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna leave her. We're gonna leave her behind. <laughs> you can watch. You can actually record this for later for yeah, us. Yeah, for the only fans. Sure. <laughs> I love that. I love it. I, I love this shit, girl. When I saw that shit, I swear you made me smile. I was like, okay, she's my type of bitch. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. She wants to have a threesome. Hey, sometimes. Fuck it sounds yeah. delicious. <laughs> Who's making the tacos? Are we buying them or? Because this motherfucker can make some tacos. No, no, no. I am going to make them. I'm going to make them because if you want the carne to be really soft and yummy, and if you want the salad to be a bien picosita y bien deliciosa, it got to be for me, baby. You know what I'm saying? Man, let, let me tell you. We live in a place that right here, hay taqueros everywhere in la calle, man. Everywhere. And yeah, you know, there's some places that eat, do it good. But again, who wants to eat pin, puro pinche gordo? You know? Like, you know, yeah, a lot of these, can, you know, taqueros. They be trying to act like they're hooking you up, but in reality, giving you nothing but like puro pinche like gordo and shit. It's like all chewy and shit. Like, you know what I'm trying to eat that shit? Fuck that. All right, next question. Let's, you go ahead. Okay, so this is, um, um, this is says, hey, can I get some of that cologne? DM you. I'm gonna DM you about yesterday. Like, I thought I really you can't read what, what pregnant the fuck? and I love cologne right now. Okay, this oh, is the cologne. Okay, okay, Let, hold okay. on, hold on. Okay, so there's the cologne she's talking about. You see it? You see it? Okay, so this little cologne right here, we get it in a secret spot. Girl, I think I answered it to you. But I think, like, this this is one that I have right here, but I have so many. And I'm actually, we're going to buy some. If you guys want to buy some, let me know because I'm going to go and buy some. And I will sell it to you guys. I'm not going to sell it too crazy. But we're trying to hook, we're trying to make a cologne ourselves. Comment yeah. below what you guys think. I love colognes. I love to smell good. I love lotions. I love body sprays. I like to play with all these different smells. It makes my own smell. But this right here, I just love the fact that it says LA. It says Dodge in the back. Yeah, this, this little cologne fits in your pocket. And it's like the best gift for Father's Day. Hell yeah. When your dad's always fucking at trabajo, when his balls smell like fucking straight fucking agua chile, this is it, puppy. You spray some of this in, the, in, in, the, in la mano, and you go and you rub it, the balls, agua chile what? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's straight smell like friquitona. <laughs> It's now, now he's gonna cheat on your mama. Yeah. <laughs> oh, on your husband. I mean, just know that if you get this for your husband and your father, he will cheat on you or your mama. Because this is gonna be a panic dropper. <laughs> so this is what you were talking sure. about, girl. Like it's all packaged and everything, girl. Like, yeah, this is it. I'm gonna open those one today because I'm gonna wear it because we're gonna go out tonight. You already know what it is. We're going to downtown LA. All right, so here's the next one. No papito oh, para acá la bolsa. Okay, me next. When you with, um, when you with your family, they, 
Okay, so when you're <laughs> with your family, they look at you some type of way, or did they accept you guys? Oh, okay, so kind of like when we came out to our family. Okay, so, um, I think we talked about it in the other one, but we're gonna kind of keep it, you know, a little different. Um, our families, we, ne we never really, Adam was, you know, the story behind it with Adam, I'll let you speak about it a little bit, short, because you know you like this, this is your time, you know? <laughs> Okay, so for me with my family, when I, when I came out, like of course at the beginning I was kind of like told I didn't I wasn't the son no more. That nothing but daughters, um, this and that. And I left. I came back, and I was accepted because of the circumstances. There you go, Bobby. I thought you were gonna go deep with this again. <laughs> the, the circumstances that I, that I was that I was put myself in. They'd rather me be here doing just being who I am, being true to myself. Cause I wasn't like it's not like I was fucking being wild. So his mom now, his mom's now, and his, she embraces him. Yeah, since I met him, they've been embracing him, and we've been together for a lot of years now. So yeah. my family too. I think my mom will always struggle with that. You know, it's just like my mom's first. I'm first generation, so my mom's you know Latina, and yeah, she's not cool with it. My dad, I don't really speak to my dad. My dad doesn't like to talk to his faggot son, but what well, he do? You know what I'm saying? I'm grown as fuck, so I love my dad. He loves me, but. What can you do? You know what I'm saying? That's just how it is. That's how life is. So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I guess they're, they're cool. They have no other choice. <laughs> I'm going to do me. Fuck it, though. Next question. Can I be the third sometime? Oh! Let me, let me see the picture. <laughs> yes, you can. You can. You, know, you, know, you, know, you hit me up. Hit me up and take me on a date because for me, I need, you need to wait, take wait, me Wait, wait, wait. He said the third, not the fucking. Like, like no, fucking no, 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 no. If you got, if you want to be, if you want to be the third, sometimes you gotta take me on the date and shit. Treat me. I'm, I am a lady first, lady first. You know what I'm saying? I was, you know, treat me like a lady first. If you want to get some of these goodies, <laughs> <laughs> I'm being dead ass serious. If you want some of this, like, I just can't give it up on the first hour. <laughs> the second <laughs> the hour. <first> second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you already know, sub boy. Hit us up. Yeah, drag message me. You know, let's get it popping. <laughs> Next. Okay, so when did you guys realize the other was your person? Ooh, I like this. Okay, so um, you go ahead and answer that. For you. So for me, I still, I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you already see, but people are trying to be thirds, so, you know. You can be, you can be none, and he can be just a second. He can yeah, be the so one. that's fine. I mean, you know, I mean, whatever, whatever makes us happy, you know. But uh, no, I'm just kidding. No, for me, I feel like um, um that was really funny, <laughs> bitch. Trying to play a So no, for me, I feel like I feel like maybe since the day that I met him, the day that I met him, I felt like he was the one because of the circumstances and the way we met and the way he was, you know. Because there's you meet so many people and there's always a hookup, but. To me, he was like more than that. He was like difficult about it. And I was like, no, I just want to suck your dick. Like, just let me suck it, that's it. <laughs> but he's like wanted to fall in love. He wanted to say love first. And I'm like, okay, I love you, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing with me, like, um, the, this this whole thing, like, I, I don't know, I just, okay, I don't know. I was trying to get real deep with it, but. Yeah, let's, let's do that. I'm not, I'm not. You threw me the fuck off anyway, yeah. so. Yeah, I'm sorry. sorry. Anyways. For me, I definitely, um, I, I hadn't even met him in real life, but I saw a picture of him and I actually was so drawn to him. And especially because I didn't know who he was, but I knew a friend of his at the time and she was speaking about him. And the more she would talk about him, it was weird how she would just talk about him because we used to work together. And I was like connected with him without not even knowing you. It was weird. I was like, okay, I'm a psycho fucking path. I'm psychotic. You know what I'm saying? I love that. Sure. Okay. You know, and so then when I met him in real life, I was already connected with him. And he didn't even know how connected I was to him. You know what I'm saying? I was I was so drawn to him. I was, first of all, I was attracted to him. But then I knowing that he was struggling with drugs and he felt alone. And I just saw his eyes. I, I, I just, I was so in love. <laughs> you know, so when you say stupid shit like that, it makes me dislike you. I was just playing. Well, it wasn't funny. <laughs> You're trying to be funny. All right, I'm going to read this one. Do you guys have kids uh, from prior relationships? Question mark. And if so, how did you break the news to them that you like the opposite sex? Double hearts. Well, double hearts are to you, sweetie pie. <laughs> okay, so, um, so I came in the relationship with a child, and um, Adam doesn't have kids that he knows of because, you know. I have kids. <laughs> have one. Really yeah, so never. um, so I left I left my my baby mama a long time ago, and then I moved to a different city. So I never came out to her. I didn't feel like I needed to come out. You don't understand. When I was like really young, when I was really young. I feel like I needed to figure myself out, and I was tired of like 
always, you know, needing to let people know who the fuck I was. So when I was a young father and I moved to a different city, I didn't need to need, I didn't even feel like I needed to do that shit. I had my daughter with me. I was being responsible, she, you know? Yeah. So I didn't, she just found out and on her own, I feel like she didn't, she, for me personally, she didn't have like, she was nobody for me to let her know what it was. You know what I'm saying? I don't even let you know what the fuck's going on with me, bitch. Especially the fact that you already had Nelly, you, know? you already had her with you, so it's like, why do I need to explain? I don't need to visitation rights. I mean, you do. Who? So you went there. Okay, let's go. Next question. When did y'all meet? So we met. Mm, we met October we, 26, 2005. Where did y'all meet? He said. Oh, okay. He so said 2005. What the fuck? Said when did y'all meet? Now where? On 2005. Okay, well, I was about to let you have it, girl, but you didn't ask where, so 2005. <laughs> I was about to be on it, too. Okay, next. You read this because it's a little long. It says, me. have either one of you did time in prison, and how long have you guys been together? If you both don't have children, would you guys ever consider a surrogate or adoption? Besides all my questions, I'd love to see you both. You guys cracking it. Oh, well, we love you, girl. This is Lola. Lola P. Sanchez? Okay, so I we love you, girl. We appreciate you, and I'm sending you the biggest hug. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so so for me, like um, um, for me, like I never went to prison, but um, I was um, I was um, I was caught up in the system, mm -hmm. and um, I did a little bit of time. I mean, they wanted to give me three years, but they didn't drop me into six. I mean, you know, I did. I had my little situation, but um, yeah. Other than that, I mean, he's not really the time, you know. But um, um <laughs> but um, um, so that's that. And then, um, how long have you guys been together? We've been together going on 18 years. I thought which 26 would be 18 years. Yeah, he's reading the questions like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Todo pinche, uh, todo rapido. Okay. Don putiza. Pinche hueva. It's like, well, okay, so the adoption, we have a child of our own. We just answered that question, so you probably already saw it. But adoption, or when, when our daughter was younger, there was definitely in me to be like, I would love to be able to have more children. First of all, I, will, I have beautiful kids. And they come out amazing. So it's like, <laughs> let me continue to spread the seed. But adoption is something that a lot of children need, man. I think it's beautiful. But I'm not going to lie, man. I don't feel like I have that in me to do that, you know? Yeah, especially at this age, you know? No. Oh, fuck. No, not at this age. Even though I'm still young, back then, I just feel like I want children on my own. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like I wanted my children on my own. I, I, I don't know. I feel like there is. I think I... I think I admire anybody that adopts kids. It's beautiful, man. But I just it's not for me. Like I think it seems so hard, you know, because kids are it's just it's so hard it's for me. I, I don't know. You know what? For me, I feel like to be honest, like I never wanted to be a parent. Like I thought about it when I was younger, just because I was just young and stupid, you know. I wanted to have like a kid by the time I was seventeen, you know. But I feel like that never worked out for me, and I feel like I was I'm happy, like I was content with it. But to me, Nelly. Him bringing his child to me, it gave me something that I didn't know I wanted. And um, it was hard for me to like d like accept at the beginning, like for me to like kind of like find myself in, in their life. And, but once I did, it's like the best thing that's ever happened to me. And yeah, so I mean, I feel like she's made me complete with that, but I mean, I would never want to put it in my life. Period. That'd be fucked What did he just say right now? <laughs> Okay, so the surrogate that you talked about, remember we were talking about it? And we were, I was telling one of my sisters that for you, for you, like it was something that was talked about a long time ago, but then again, it didn't sit well with me. I was like, I don't want my sister to carry the child. And then my sister was married to my, my compa. I was like, how was he gonna feel? Like she was seeing like she was down, remember? But then again, I don't think, I, I really believe things don't happen. Everything has for a reason. I have so. a story. You raising your hand? What the fuck, bitch? You're not in school. <laughs> the, oh my god, what's going on with you? You know, you're drinking this shit again. Look what you're I'm drinking. actually not. I'm drinking. Whoa, whoa, shit, I'm drinking water. Look at you. Like, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> no. So okay. So so speaking of a surrogate, like I had this really close friend of mine. Oh my gosh. Someone decided to drink. We all were drinking, and someone decided to have a conversation with her and her partner. And at a club, at a fucking club. And so they talked about like, oh yeah, I'm you can't down, take me to a club and that. Drink. And so for me, like, I had no part. I didn't even know the conversation happened. All of a sudden, like, I feel like that friend was hitting us up, saying like, hey, you know, like, um, let's let's make this happen. Let's do this, this, that, and this, and that. I got thrown in the middle, and I said, you know what, look, I would never want to do this. I would never want to to feel like I'm tied to somebody like that. You know? And um, 
And so I ended up looking like the bad one. And and to this very day, like I I lost that friendship, that that, because of that me? connection because of a fucking drunk moment at a club. And okay, so first of all, if you kick it with me, I'm gonna tell you you're beautiful because you probably are, and we should have babies. <laughs> we should have babies. Like, I'm gonna say this. Oh, we should have babies together. So I said that to her. Obviously, it was something that she really, really wanted. It, it went the way it went. But to me, if if you have, if we got love for her, she got love for us, and we communicate through Facebook or whatever. I don't really got friends like that. And to me, if that's what it took, that's what it took. Like I ain't even worrying about it, Bobby. What the fuck are you worrying about that shit? I'm not worried about it. Yeah, like my it's life like, goes on. So you saying like you heard about something, man? Like it was no, but I was talking about the circuit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it was a weird ass story <laughs> to say. I love you, girl, but like that was a little much. All right, so are you both married and do you have kids? So we're not married and as you, you already know we do have a child of our own that we've been raising all her life. Um, so no, we're not married. We have a commitment ceremony that we did like a long time yeah, ago. We're, we're um, um, registered domestic partners. Yeah, we definitely want to get married, but I think it's like, I don't know why we're just delaying it. It's because he doesn't want to propose uh, to <laughs> I don't know why you're making me lazy today. Okay, let me jump in and let me change the subject because you're making this weird. This one right here is um, Suzy underscore 805. And this is meet and greet soon. What? Girl, let me tell you something. <laughs> Any, meet and greet is when you when you want to go and you go to a club and I see you and we kicking it. Because, I mean, for me, like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I've stumbled into people that vibe us on Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook. Um, fa- I mean, uh, YouTube. And I'm not really used to all that. Like, I'm just a regular ass motherfucker, man. Like, I'm over here like... I don't even have a car yet. Like, bitch, <laughs> like, why are you, like, show me love and let's vibe this out, let's hug it out, let's see how much we vibe each other and I'm gonna follow you or whatever social media. But like, a meet and greet to me, it's a, it's a little, I don't know, I appreciate that you see us, like we should be having a meet and greet, but to me, I don't know, call it what you want to call it, man. Like, I'm just like, not How about we just all meet up at the club one day? Period. Like okay, that up. is my vibe. And then, and you already know, if, if I have a setup, cause I've done this, I have gone to a, play, a gay club and I set up a whole table with with shirts. Let me tell you, when I go, I have fucking mannequins and shit. I have um, toll bags, stickers, and then like I will have more shit. Like I'm gonna have colognes and shit. I will go and set up on shit. You guys can buy my shit. Nothing's super expensive. Like you can get like three stickers for uh, for ten bucks. My shirts can be like fifteen or twenty bucks. It all depends, you know, on the style that it has. The sweaters can be no more than thirty th- uh, thirty bucks. Like, girl, we can do this. And I'm gonna go and you know hustle because I stay hustling. I'm all fucking sport. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for that. I appreciate your love, girl. That's so sweet. Next question. I love you guys. How did both of you meet? So we met. It was just so weird because I was like I said, you know, I was already so drawn to him, and then out of nowhere, I mean, we're from ba- we're in Bakersfield, Bakersfield, a big city. So we, and then obviously the only gay club was popping, especially at the time was Casablanca. So at the alley, we ended up seeing each other. And then from there, I just was looking for him. So I'm the one that pursued him. I'm the one that I'm looking for him. I, I'm the one that got his number and I'm the one that called him. And I'm the one that told him we're going to meet here in my job and we're kicking it that night. And we're falling in love that day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being serious. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not playing. I'm being for real. Like that's what happened. Next. Okay, so this says, how did you guys like your experience with women? Also, Ooh. would you ever consider going back to a woman if Damn, y'all ever girl. separated? Are you trying to be one of those women, girl? What the fuck? Damn. Send me a nude. I'm just lying. <laughs> okay, so my experience with women was like, I think women are so beautiful. I think they're so sexy. Um, you know, I don't even know what you would call attracted. Like, I am attracted to women. I think women are sexy and beautiful. Like, you know, but... Uh, I think I'm I'm a different type of man though. I'm a my attraction is different, you know. Um, I don't know, like the the way I view women, it's almost, you know, I don't know, like it just it, it just stops a certain way, a certain level for me. Like I'd be like, damn, she stops at the dick. <laughs> I think it really does. Like I can be like, damn, she's bomb. Ooh, she, that that's that'll be wifey right there. That'll be wifey. But it just like, but like I just want to like maybe watch movies with her and like. Maybe like go to the, Netflix and chill to the to the club, you know, and I just want to fuck her brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like to a certain point, like I don't want to hurt her. You know what I mean? I don't want to hurt her with my big penis. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no. So for me, I feel like um, um no, it's like um I feel like yeah, women are very beautiful, and I appreciate them. You know, and um, you just repeated but, what I said. 
But, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, um, yeah, like I'm not. That's not for me. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so uh, oh, did you have you ever considered it? No, no consideration. No consideration. <laughs> Are you guys still attracted to women? Okay, girl, what's up with you? Oh, I love it. Okay, again, I feel like, it, it to me, it's almost the same questions, but I'm answering it again. I think, I don't know. I think that I can definitely see a woman and just admire the beauty, the sexiness, and be like, damn, like, she looks bomb. Like, she looks good. And, you know, I don't know. They just, I don't know. I think that me growing up with women and just um, loving and respecting a woman, like, I don't even know. There's a, again, there, there's a level to the attraction that stops me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It really does. I can really admire it. And um, I, obviously, I, Adam, been with women, I've been with women. and But there is, there's a freedom with me with a man for some reason. And I know that. Yeah, you know uh, what? Like, it's like, I feel like you can be yourself with a dude, especially, I mean, another gay guy, you know? It's like, um, I feel like girls, you always have to be this like manly man. And that's you not got, true. always got to be the protector. You know? That's not true. And I feel like. Okay, no, 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 see, what you're saying is right, that's your opinion. Yeah. Yeah, that's your opinion. Okay. Yeah, so, and I know it's not always true, but I mean, I just feel like you always got to be, like, you always got to, especially, like, you have to just be this manly man, like, you mean? It's like, but if they know you're gay, they don't hold you to a higher standard, you know? And you just, you'll be able to be yourself, you mean? You don't always have to watch sports with the dude. You can be <laughs> in the kitchen with the women cooking, you know? But, see, but see, I don't cook. I don't cook, I don't watch sports, I don't do shit. I just, but see, the, the, that... That, that, that's your mentality, that's how you grew up? Wait, hold up. Okay, so that's how you grew up, but I definitely have seen a lot of men that are, they're um, they're almost feminine, they're with women. You remember that guy from TikTok? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy looks like he is literally, he wears makeup. I'm pretty sure you know who he is. I don't even know his name. I just stumbled into him and I find it so interesting and so beautiful that that um, they're, they're a whole family. And you know what I mean? So you will never know. Like, at the end of the day, Adam, would, Adam and I will never know who we would be without each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, we would never know who would we be with, with what other guy or with, with a girl. What girl would f fully accept you with your feelings and make you feel so comfortable and take that away from you of thinking that you have to be this macho man. Like, maybe she's like, no, I can hold you down. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, like, it's just, it's just what you think you have to be. You know what I'm saying? So... I love these. I love these questions, man. I really do. I think that's beautiful. Next question: How is your relationship with your baby mama, and how did your daughter oh. feel about you when you told her? Oh, <laughs> so I don't have a relationship with my baby mama. I um, she's never really been in the picture, so there's no relationship right there. Period. And um, my daughter, I think that since she was little, I never really came out to my daughter. I think that I just was. You've just, always been. I've just been, just been her, her poppy. I just was like, let me just be her poppy and that's it. Um, I did have a big insecurity, you know, of her knowing that, you know, she was being raised by two men and uh, is there a woman going to be missing in her life? Was she going to compare her friends, families, you know, having a mother and a father? And, um, but slowly she started showing me that she felt love and she felt protected in her own way and she started really taking that away from me slowly. My daughter took that away from me slowly. So this was a journey for me. So yeah, for sure. um, I never really felt, I think she was too young for me to let her know, for me to let her know, to let her know like, oh, I just, you know, I'm gay. Like, what the fuck? Like, hell no. Um, I think that it was just something, I wanted her, I just wanted her to see me and here and then just here, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, thank you for that question. That was beautiful. Okay. Next. I just love you guys. How would would you ever consider getting together with some of your followers for dinner and do a q a i would probably faint and then scream Me too, girl. because it's youtube and then faint again and probably cry because it's youtube and then take pictures and faint again oh, I love what it. The fuck, <laughs> that was the sweetest okay. fucking comment ever. so this was a direct message and i did reply to her and if you're watching this girl thank you so much because you made my day you made me <laughs> i was so like flattered i was like ah like it was such you know for me like if I ever will kick it, I do get shy, man. And it's overwhelming because I'm a human just like you. And I don't really have a lot of family that really has my back like this. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm really raw and honest with whoever's around me. I don't have friends like that. So when you guys are really embracing this like this, it can be a little bit overwhelming. It's it, to a point that it's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? But so I definitely have that in me. I would love like, even though I feel like I'm a loner, I'm very outgoing in my own way. You know what I'm saying? 
if you make me feel safe, what you see here is what you will get. You know what I'm saying? I do close off really slow, um, really, really fast. But um, hell yeah, this is something that I would do. And it's beautiful how you said that because fuck a whole meet and greet, right? Let's just go and meet up somewhere and let's ha have a good time. Like, let's not let it be about me. Let's go to a, let's go, let's, let's set up somewhere that 309 I'm going to be at and let's go ahead and fucking buy it. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, that's what I think of a meet and greet. I don't want it to be like, no, fuck that. Like a barbecue or some shit, you know? But it has to be set up and it's yeah, going to be totally. a vibe. Like, it ain't going to be, it's going to be a vibe. Like, it's going to be it. You know what I'm saying? If I'm doing it, it's going to be a vibe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, next. Okay. Did you face a lot of scrutiny and bullying for taking the step to live your truth? Ooh. And if so, how did you get through it? What went on in your mind during those times? What made you never give up because of it? Wow, that's actually so beautiful, man. Like, you know, it's so weird because being being the age that we are and experiencing all these things that, you know, you're asking us, because they definitely experienced that a long time ago. I try to always live with it that almost humbles me. I feel like um, since I was really young, it was something that I feel like my family always struggled with. So it wasn't until I was a teenager, it was since I was born. I remember just my parents seeing something in me that they didn't like and they saw they saw it gay. So they were trying to take it away from me in whatever way they were trying to do it. you know. And then at school, they, they saw it and they pointed it out and then it was also something they wanted to bully. So um, I, I dealt with it by closing off figure finding the world within myself and um, almost like a shield. I don't know what it was, but I thought I was such a, a pussy when I was younger, but now that older that I get, I was so brave for me to hold myself the way I did and for me to survive all those years with nobody to ever, you know, reach a hand for me, you know what I'm saying? Um, so this is why I feel like I always, like I said, I owe it to myself, to my young me, to be able to live my truth, you know? So when I got to a certain age, I was screaming it, and I don't give a fuck what nobody said, and I don't give a fuck what nobody was, if they were beside me, I don't give a fuck if I was alone, I'ma live my truth, you know what I'm saying? I was tired, you know? So what do I want for you, Adam? Well, for me, I feel like um, I've always, I, I since, I mean, when I, once I came out to my mom, finally, you know? Um, it was a little hard for me, you know, I did that face like uh, like not being claimed as yeah. the son no more, you know But now they embrace now she embraces me. She gives me love. She just shows me every day on the daily that she loves me His mom's good too. Yeah, and um, but for me like till this very day like I don't like it's, I struggle with it. I struggle with having to feel like I need to come out to everybody. Oh, like just for example Like I started a new job. That's so and true. And they actually asked me about like oh that name on the back. Is that your wife? Yeah. So I had just been working at a job for a week at, at Chili's. And it's so true. You know what? You're right about that. Like everywhere we go, we always had to out ourselves. Like there was a girl when I was I'm so sorry that I interrupted you. But when I was when I was working, we worked together, Everett Robin. And then I was serving them and then Adam went to see to check up on them because that's how we do. We you know, we're a team. And and they were like, Hey, can I ask you something? Are you and that guy related? And I told her yeah, we're actually together. Oh, you guys are like, so it's always like a shock factor and some people try not to act like that. And sometimes we're like, oh yeah. And sometimes it depends on the demeanor they give me or there's a lot of kids. I'll be like, oh yeah, we're related. So are you guys like brothers? I'm like, we're family. I'll be like that. Yeah. So the hey, fact yeah. that I don't even, the fact that I'm almost like holding myself back for what reason? Yes, I'm still slave to that shit, man. And you know what's funny is that like, like this person that I told you that asked me about this name on the back of my neck, which is says Torino. Him. Um, asked me about like this tattoo of my mom and she's like well who's that your wife or your mom and it's my mom and then she asked me about my neck and I was like oh that's my dad I didn't I did I forgot to say the daddy part you know it's my daddy you mean but I just said oh that's my dad she's like you really love your parents don't you and I said I do <laughs> See, let me tell you something about me though I'll tell you stuff like that but it's everything in me to want to out myself out. Like when I tell, when I don't tell people, it's because I see kids. You know what I'm saying? I see kids, and I'm not trying to make it weird on the table that I don't even know. But coworkers, oh, I'm letting them know. Oh, I'm letting them know. I'm a whole ass fucking faggot, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. It was just the like I was like trying. They were telling. Are you saying nine anymore? No, I'm not. You're my daddy. <laughs> See, so we are a different type of um, gay man. Last time, remember we, we had that, we were talking to somebody and there were, it was this gay man. Man, he, there's so many different gay men out there that live, think differently and they're so comfortable with themselves. They have such beautiful, supportive families. We come from always feeling like 
yeah, we don't feel comfortable in that circle, that circle. We have to pretend, 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 pretend to a certain point. Like not pretend like nothing, but just like we gotta, we gotta, we gotta let them know. We can't let them know. That kind of pretending. You know what I'm I saying? think for me, it's like I, I'm, I'm comfortable on a one on one. So you know, this like, is why if we, she would have told me that, and I, no one else was around. I would have been like, okay, yeah, that's that just my partner. Watch me when I go in Chili's. I'm gonna I'm blow that shit up. But she asked me when I was by my trainer, and I was like, okay, let me just Fuck deal with trainer. one at a time. Fuck you know? that pussy so dude. I just. For me, that's all that is. You mean like no, I'm, no, never, I, I'm never, I'm never like uh, putting down what, who I am. You mean, but I just feel like it's on my terms. You mean, it's on my terms. Like I don't like, I just don't ask. I'm trying to excuse like how that. you're a pussy, bitch. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Okay, so, but well, I, I was about to say something, but I forgot. But I was about to be like lit right now. Okay, do you guys have siblings? Uh, do you have siblings, Bobby? Because yeah. I don't have no sisters. I actually have. I don't one. have four sisters. Can you imagine? <laughs> I actually have three sisters and then me. There's four people in my family. Yeah, and, and also, I'm the only dude. also have four sisters. Yeah. So we don't have no brothers. Okay. Do you guys have three ways? Three ways? <laughs> okay. Well, like like when you call, like, you can do three ways. Yeah, we can do three ways on the, on the phone. Like back in the day and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We actually have had. Oh, 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 oh. real? Keep it real. Oh. We've had three way calls. Like. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, it all depends. It all depends, Bobby. It all depends. It all depends. Yeah. It all depends on the, on the dick pic. Period. Just like. <laughs> all right. Next one. Okay. How do you keep your relationship so beautiful? The honest truth. I'm gonna speak real quick, really fast. The honest truth for me, I can't even answer you that. You know, because, you know, I think everybody's situation is different. What's worked with us is that I have allowed Adam to be Adam, and Adam has allowed me to be Trino, and we have allowed ourselves to. To embrace each other um, in, in through the light and through the darkness, and allow each other to um, to just make mistakes. And you know, when you love somebody, that's what you do, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel um, sometimes a mistake can be really fucked up. Um, I, for me, I'm a type of person that you can make a mistake, but if the mistake's really, really horrible, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's considered horrible? For me, if Adam, if you were a, like, say you were, oh, you were talking to a motherfucker for like two weeks. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. That was already in love. You know what I'm saying? I can't do that. But if I'm hitting and quitting, <clears throat> like it was one night, you're going to get that ass beat. But you'll but still love me. You're going to get that ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> but to me, like, there's a lot of people that have relationships and then they were talking and they were, it was like a whole relationship. Oh, yeah. It's like it was I, more than just. Do that. Like, fuck that. You, there, there's a line you cross and I'm going to beat that ass. You know what I'm saying? Have you both always been strictly gay or have you? Have you, have you, na have, or have you, other than Natalie's mom, had relationships with women? Also, what's your most important life goal? Okay, so we're just gonna answer the, the last question because we answered the, the, already the other one. The goal is to um, let my art, ex you know, just be all over, man. I definitely, my goal right now is to definitely just build, build an empire with my art. I love colognes. There's just so much I want to do artistically, and that's just my goal, man. You know what I'm saying? And I love to do this. It's an outlet. I love to be able to scream to the world something that I was afraid to scream. So this is so empowering to me. It's almost therapeutic. You know what I'm saying? What's your goal, Papi? So for me, my goal in life is just just to be happy. I mean, it's like no matter what happens, you know, I just feel like if I stay true to myself, I love doing the job I do. I love serving people, and I'm a server. I love doing that, and if that's all I am, I am, and I'm, I'm gonna be the best I am at it. And you are. And and it's like for me, it's like I love making videos. I love doing TikToks. I love doing Instagram videos. And if nothing more ever comes out of it, I'm following what I love to do, and that's all that matters to me. Period. That's my goal. Just happiness <laughs> in life. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for chilling with us, man. Sorry if we were being chaotic a little bit. It was a chaotic day for us. So whatever energy you got from us today, just know it was some real ass shit, man. Adam was working. All fucking day since like nine in the morning, he came out and right away we got ready for you guys. We got cute the fuck up. We're gonna do a little vlog for you guys maybe. Yeah, yeah, we're doing one because we're gonna about to go out tonight. You know, we were doing some reaction videos. We stay moving and shit. We love you guys. We appreciate you guys. We love that you guys get to know who we are, and I love when you guys allow us to get to know you. So. Um, I'm not afraid to let people know who I am. I'm not afraid. You know, some people tell me like, are you afraid? No, I'm not afraid, bitch. The fuck? <laughs> bitch, I can die tomorrow. I feel like so many people are afraid of what people think about them. And I, I don't give like, a fuck. If you live life like that, I mean, I know, like I said, like, oh, I didn't want to tell the girls, just because it's- No, fuck that, bitch. Video. 
You're killing time. Fuck that bitch. All right, but well, thank you for it. Bobby, yeah. enough. Yeah. You're about to explain that shit. Fuck that bitch, man. All right, well, you guys have a beautiful day, man. Thank you guys so much for chilling with us, man. If we answer your question, comment below and put a heart for us, man, so we can heart it back for you. We appreciate you guys and we love you guys. Thank you guys so much for embracing us, all right? Have a beautiful ass day. Bye. Hey, I got you.